first off, move the battery cover, disconnect the battery. Move this engine cover. Pop the uh, timing belt cover, just unclip it. I don't have any of my tools laid out, so I'm just winging it. Most of the valve cover bolts are 10 millimeter. Now, I, re I actually I relocated the vacuum box, that ra vacuum reservoir that's set up here. It's held in by uh, three bolts. They're Allen hex key bolts. I think they're five or six millimeter. There's three of them. Move that, move the bracket, get rid of the bracket. I'm gonna remove this hose. And probably remove the diverter valve, just to free up some room. More room better. Hope you don't rip any hoses. Another thing you should be doing is a whole engine. I just came up and worked on it. So I might burn myself and yell. Probably gonna remove the Y pipe. Remove this part first. Oops. All right. Remove the coil packs. Slide them back. Coil packs are unplugged. Gonna remove this ground. And probably have to pop the harness up out of the little plastic tray that the wires sit in. It just rests in these little holes. This will have to get undone. And this hard line, some people kind of bend it out of the way. It's bolted to this bracket. I'm sure I can unbolt it and just, you know, move it out of the way. That's probably what I'll do. Or I'll bend it. But there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bolts holding the valve cover on. And it looks to be pretty much it holding that on. So next I'm gonna pop my coil packs out. Pull this harness up out of the way. Just squeeze, you just kind of squeeze this in, lift it up, 10 millimeter for the ground, which I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna ground mine because I shaved mine off. Now you kind of want to be a little easy on the coil pack harness, especially if you have an older 1AT, they get pretty brittle wires are exposed to heat constantly so you really don't want to be too rough with it just kind of fold it up out of the way that's probably too rough for it valve cover is all freed up besides this line and this line I'm gonna start taking off the nuts Let's get Or it's nice to have uh, pass through wrenches, wrenches and sockets. These two lines, and I'm gonna. I'm guessing these are six millimeter hex bolts. There's two bolts holding uh, this lift bracket and your engine cover bracket uh, to the block, and it's holding this hard line. Yep, six millimeters. This'll make it's like that hard lineup. So make this out of the way a little easier. Finally undo these two hubs. There. Try and get 
this one. Set that clamp up. Ooh, nice and... That's why you run a catch can. I don't have one. Alright, cover should be ready to come off. We've got room to move it. Hose is disconnected. The thing is, it's hot as hell. Lift up right here, it starts to come off, lift up here. Free it from the, unseals itself. Huh, got to move these. Make sure to remove the middle nut. I just use a screwdriver to bend that hard line out a little bit. Lift up the old gasket, get up off the studs. Once again, make sure you don't have like any dirt on you. We drop anything down. Still good. Center gasket comes off. All right. Now we're ready for the new gasket. I'll see how it fits. Just once I set it in there. I have no clue what I'm listening to. I have satellite radio on. Firmly press the gasket down onto the on the surface. Make sure it's sitting down all the way on the studs and sitting down in the grooves on the sides. Now you can start reinstalling all the nuts. All right, once you got your valve cover in place, yeah, the nuts are finger tight, and go ahead and tighten them down. You can snap your cover back on. Now that the coil packs back in place. Get a little bit, a little bit. Get there again. Now for the harness. So if you're reinstalling your original valve cover, make sure you attach the ground back that you took off. Attach it back to the hockey puck. Put the bolts back in for the bracket. Once you're sure everything's connected back up, you got your all your hoses back on, all your bolts are tight. I just gotta do something with this. The wire wrap kind of fell apart. Hook up your ground and check for leaks. Hopefully it don't leak.